Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Dream Team for the 3DS. This is episode number 31 of our Let's Play, but before we get started, do me a huge favor and hit the like button for me. Let's see if we can reach 350 likes. I think that would be awesome. Anyways, guys, I'm actually very upset right now. Uh, I recorded this video already earlier today, and it was about 25 minutes in length, and at the very end of the video, when I went to stop the recording, I realized that the capture, my 3DS capture thing, was actually frozen at the very beginning of the video, and I I wasn't aware, and this th this is a thing that happens a lot recently when I like record 3DS videos. The video will freeze, and I'll have to go back and re-record the entire video again. So it's one of those days where the thing froze, and I have to go back and re-record the full entire video again. I have to redo everything. So, and I was actually contemplating in that video to save, but thank goodness I didn't save because if I had saved, I would have been screwed, and I would have lost all that footage, and I wouldn't have been able to even go back and redo this. So it would have been pretty much a useless episode. Um, anyways, I have a quick question to ask you guys. Um, Mario Golf and Kirby's Triple Deluxe came out today. I will be Let's Playing one of those games on my channel tomorrow, but the question is which one of those games will I be Let's Playing? Now that's in your hands. You guys get to decide which one of those two games I get to Let's Play. So go ahead and leave your suggestions down below and vote for one of the two games. Mario Golf or Kirby's Triple Deluxe. Um, the second game, like, for the one that gets voted most votes, I'll actually be Let's Playing it here on my channel. Channel, and the second one will be let's play it on my second channel with Chris uh, Chris and Sully so we're gonna go ahead and do that but which one do you want to see me do in, as a solo LP cuz I'm really really intrigued and I'm gonna start doing let's play tomorrow it just uh, depends on which one it'll be so uh, you guys get a vote so go ahead and leave your suggestions I'll tally up the votes tonight and I'll let you guys know uh, tomorrow obviously which one won so um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and skip over these enemies because I'm not really in the mood to battle them. I went through and I battled every single enemy, but then my freaking 3DS thing had to freeze. It's so upsetting. Oh well, um, I guess we get to redo all this again. Uh, so yeah, there's actually a pillow back here. I wasn't even aware of that uh, for a while. I mean, I did go through and actually beat or save this pillow back on my main file, but I... They didn't even remember, like, it's really hard to remember the pillow locations in this game because there are so many of them just lying around. And this happens to be one of them. Um, it's really, really easy to get through also. Especially the mega pillow. The mega pillow, like, saving the second mega pillow is actually a joke. It's not hard at all. Um, and I noticed too, like, when you actually enter the dream world, as you can see, every single dream world in, like, Mount Pajamaja has, like, its own entrance segment, like this. This has its own entrance way, and you have to go through another door in order to make it to, like, this area. And then when you look at it, oh, there's a thing. It's, they're really, really easy. Like, the Mega Pillow, saving the Mega Pillow is also a joke. Like, I couldn't remember the second Mega Pillow just because, um, like, it wasn't hard at all. And then I played it again earlier today, and then I was like, wow, well, that's why, because it's a joke. Um, it's really easy, and I like that. I mean, it's, I, I don't really mind easy sometimes. Sometimes easy is all right. Look at that. They put those 100 coins to bait you there. I mean, normally I would go after 100 coins, but I don't really need it. I'm not at loss for coins right now. I have plenty of coins, and it's not like I buy anything with my coins right now, so I think we're good. And there we go, we saved Pillow Folk number 21. I'm pretty sure we've skipped over a ton of pillows, like, in other areas, like Dozing Sands, and... I think... Maybe Wakeport, I skipped a few pillows. Like, I'm not entirely sure where all the pillows are. The only way I can truly figure that out is if I had, like, a guidebook for the game, and I went through and I, like, looked for all of the pillows. You freed me, thank you! No problem, buddy. So I might actually do that. It's just gonna be really hard, though, to go back through at the very end of the game and having to go through to look for all of the pillows, because the thing is, I don't even know which ones I've saved and which ones I haven't, so I guess I'll have to go through and replay the full game and, like try to find the pillows from scratch as if I've never saved any of them if you guys get what I'm trying to say like when you play Zelda games you can try to look for all the heart pieces it's like you can't find them all so if you if there's if you're missing like a couple of them the only way you can go through is you have to go back and look at every single heart location even though you know for a fact that that's the heart piece you got so that's probably the only way I can think of actually doing that um, what was that thing even for like what did I even activate you know, I don't even know what that was. Oh, it was a thing to give to Kale the Koopa, or Kyle the Koopa. I don't even know what his name is. It's best part of tour. Time to test courage. 
What are we gonna do? On cliff! Oh man, don't tell me we're about to go bungee jumping, man. I was large, bro. You fe have fear sweat, but if inner beef is strong, is no problem. The large, bro. The small, bro. Small, bro will show through muscles now. Tender cutlets, watch with eyes. Uh, is it right of large, bro, to do the glorious first plunge? Though, or maybe cutlets should jump and we strap on back like bacon wraps. Large, bro, lacks beef. Large, bro, is side salad. Side salad? I show you side salad. Man, these guys are angry. Cannon beef! Whoa! Large bro! Okay, so it looks like we definitely have to go bungee jumping right now. That That is something you couldn't pay me to even do. I could never bungee jump. I've seen so many, like, horror things where, like, people go bungee jumping and it just goes wrong. Like, the strap will, like, snap off or they won't be tied on it tight. So, they'll just, like, come off and fall off the strap. Like, I, like, literally, you could not give me money and say go bungee jumping because I would probably die on the way down, even though I'm pretty safe. I mean, I, I've considered skydiving, but not bungee jumping. You survive. You have big muscles, but you are having brain muscles to escape. We give you a hint. Look at Valve. Valve can be turned like grill meat. Is all of hint. Flex brain now. Body and brain both must be beef. If you do not solve, we leave you, duh. But you do solve. Massive bros know it. Wow, thanks. They're calling a stupid large bro. My pen. I have large pen. Shh. Salty tears and rise through me. <laughs> I love the massive bros so much. They're probably my favorite, like, characters in the game other than Mario and Luigi. They have, like, the most funny dialogue in, uh, the most funny, wow, my grammar there. The funniest dialogue out of, like, all the characters in the game. Um... But yeah, this part was actually a part that we've been through before. As you can see, there's a, a nice little clean out box right there. The thing is, when we activated that Valve, the whirlwind started appearing. So now we can actually use those whirlwinds to our advantage to make it to places such as this place where we haven't been. The only reason I know we haven't been here before is because, one, of this. And two, it's on the upper level. And I know for a fact, because I remember on the right side, I'd always look at it and I'm like, wow, we've never been there before. But this is the only way you can get here to the second Mega Pillow. And we can activate that, which will actually lift us up just in case we fall off, which I don't think we will, but that's cool. Oh, the Massive Bros are off again. Whatever. That's the second Mega Pillow. We can open that gate if we save this pillow. Mario, Luigi, do your best. Okay, so the reason why I didn't remember this pillow in particular was because it's a joke. It's really easy, and I don't, I don't say it, like, to bash on, Mar on like, this game or anything like that. I always tend to say, like, oh, this game's a joke. But when I say it's a joke, I mean it's easy. And sometimes it's a really good thing. Because um, most of the Dream World places, we've had to battle so many enemies just to reach our objective. Especially in Wakeport. After Wakeport, I kind of hated, like, after saving the second Massive Brother, um, or just... Big Moss of himself. I absolutely hated Dream Worlds just because it was so tedious and there were so many enemies and it wasn't really that much fun to do. But playing through like Dream Worlds like this, where they actually give you like unique puzzles to save or reach your objective, I absolutely love. So, like this one, there's absolutely no enemies here, but they'll give you like this uh, little puzzle game where you have to hit the blocks in order, just counting them from backwards in less than 15 seconds. And that may seem easy, but. It's, it's actually really easy, like, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty easy, we left with, like, four seconds to spare. Um, but that's just because I knew what the blocks were. Before, I think I was left with, like, maybe a millisecond, not even a millisecond, I think it was, like, almost a second to spare. But that's because I was taking my sweet little time with it. And there we go, we sit, we, we activated the first spot. I think there's, like, two more little puzzles like this. Oh no, there's just this box, where every coin gives you five coins. I love that. I love that about this game, how every coin gives you five coins. Okay. Let's hit that. There's another five coins. Wow, they're, they're just soiling us with coins right now. Alright, Luigi, hit that. We got a super syrup jar. And here we are, guys. The final part of this place. With the final little mini game part. You can just run. They can haul, can't they? They could have made it. Jeez, Mario and Luigi, you guys are slow. Alright. 18 seconds, meaning this one's probably going to be a lot more difficult. 
instead of giving you three more seconds. I mean, the space is a little bit bigger. See, as you can see, they put two blocks, and then for every time it counts down, they'll put the same block again just to try to confuse you. So if you hit five, but you need to hit two, then like, oh, what the name? There we go. I know how to count down, so it's easy for me. And I actually ended up with more time than I did in the last one. But that's because they gave me 18 seconds. So if they gave me 15 seconds like the last one, I probably would have had one second left. And there we go, guys. We saved the Mega Pillow. The two Mega Pillows. They're really small right now, but wait till they get outside in the real world. They can gobble you, your mom, your sister, and your dad up. Just as a dessert, man. Just as, like, appetizers to get them ready for freaking dinner. Alright. And out of the dream world we go. Oh boy, good, I'm alive again. Thank you so much for saving me. Great, we revived both Mega Pillows. Ah, Mega Phil. Whoa, Mega Lowy. It's been a while. Is that his name, Lowy? Mega Lowy, are you aware of what's going on? Dreambert and his friends need to pass the gate. Oh, is that a fact? If that is so, should we do the thing? We should, Mega Lowy. We should do the thing. Mega, Mega Phil. Mega Lowy, Lowy. Mega, Mega Phil, Lowy. Oh, wow, that is the dumbest way to open up a gate. Wow, they just destroyed it. Oh, so I guess they did not open it. They just completely trashed it. Okay. Someone opened gates. Yep. Get that laugh, that massive muscles. You must be muscle lords. Oh, no, not me. Muscle lords of beef is life goal for us. I thought you were not. Damn, these guys are just being suck-ups right now. <laughs> Ahem. Get is open. The so we extend tour. Is unknown pass here. No one knows land. Tour is now separate meat from potatoes. Do we go? You follow. All right. So now we're gonna finally make our way up to the top of Mount Paja Magic. This is a place that's been unknown for a lot of people because not that many people have actually explored this part of the mountain. But we can't really do much here because, as you can see, that thing is blocking the way. So I guess we just gotta leave. Right? Right? Nope. Nope. Yo, wait. No way forward, uh, we make way. We defeat Gates, so we laugh at the mountain. Well, the mountain laughed at us when we climbed this wall, but... We make passes through little service. Duh, it's time for special move. Duh. Side drill! Is nice again. Beef! Phew, as many reps. Maybe need break. What? Little tenderloins like to try special move? It's beefy spirit. You have eye of porterhouse. It's needed to summit the mountain. First, press R button twice to change icon to side drill. See how B button change to side drill? Now use B button to carry green guy on shoulders. Press B button again to launch side drill. Woo! And we broke the little rocks. Actually, they did, but I mean, that's what happens when you use the side drill. This maneuver allows you to go through small holes and gaps. Very nice. It's not bad, it's nice drill. We keep up pace, we climb more higher. Alright, you think that's it? No, there's still another cool, awesome move that we're gonna have to learn. Well, actually, not really. They're just gonna show you what the side drill can do. Now, open ears, little fillet. It's important information. Side drill also breaks through hard rocks. Rock over there, ask for breaking. It's perfect practice. Bring beef. And bam, you can also break through rocks. Little did we know that. It's powerful, duh. It's full beef, duh. The muscle goes, the muscle up. Do what goes on. Come, lamb chops. All right, so we can continue on Mount Page. Imagine now. Uh, now that we've actually know what to do here. Watch this. Uh, hold on. There's something cool that I want to show you guys. Okay, so... Okay, so if you're like at a gap like this, I didn't even know, instead of like floating over that, you could just do that. Look at that, that's so cool. I freaking love this move, man. So badass. Alright. 
Which way do we head towards now? I think we're at the top of the mountain. Uh-oh. Not yet. There's some fiery lava pits here. They do not look too safe or anything like that. Oh, jeez. Look at those guys. Uh-oh. Oh, man. I didn't mean to hit those. I don't... I've never battled one of these things before. Oh, look at that. It's just a dumbbell. Oh, jeez. Is he gonna, like, toss that at me? Look at him. He's benching. Oh, what the fudge, man? Why would you do that? Oh, man. Oh, jeez. All right. Let's go ahead and attack the dumbbell. It's called the Grumbell. Wow. I don't even know if hammers affect these things. They're kind of levitating, so, you know, I can't really be entirely sure. But I'm just going to go ahead and say that they don't, and hopefully I'm right. So I'm not even going to bother attacking them with the hammer. But really, there's only one way to find out. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. How do I even know when he's going to toss it? Come on, man! I perfect. I jumped... Oh jeez, that sucks. He's gonna die. Okay, let's use this. Luigi needs some HP. It's gonna attack Grumbell again. Die, yes, it died. Okay, we're gonna attack you with my mighty hammer. Force hammer. Oh yeah. Woo! Die. Why isn't it dying? These things are so freaking hard to kill, man. It's not even funny. Bam! 46 damage dealt. How did I get a no-hitter, though? Like, for real, though. Luigi got hit twice. And we are almost leveled up again. That's beautiful. I like that. I can dig it. Alright, let's go ahead and hit this. Um, there's actually a little entrance way back here. Let me show you guys first what lies back here so we don't have any confusion. Look at that. You see that? There's nothing that you can do. This looks like it could be an exit way rather than an entrance way, so. Um, we're also about to level up. I think I might just try to kill this guy just to get that nice level up. Who do we have? We have a, one idiot and another dumbbell. Can we just have, like, one dumbbell and that's it? Aw, oh, man, I'm jumping way too late. Wait, what the heck? Is that a freaking dragon? Are you kidding me? There are dragons in this game? Oh my god, top four, you can go back. What does this even mean? Is that a dragon, dude? Dude, I don't, I don't know what to say. Is that a... F that is a dragon. There's a... Can I... I can't attack it. I, okay, maybe it's just for show. I'm like scenery. That's so cool, man. Oh, that's so cool. They just have a dragon, like, watching as, like, a referee. Why does it always attack Luigi, you bastard? Wait, what? Oh, God. Oh, jeez. This thing's shooting fireballs in my face. Ah! This thing's actually attacking me. Holy moly. Gu guacamole. These dragons can actually attack you. That is so awesome. I love this game even more now. Not Patch of Magic has dragons. That's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. That's like the... Honestly, this is so cool. I'm so fascinated by this. I don't know why, but like, look at that. It's a dragon. Jeez. Alright, hopefully we gain some EXP points. There we go. Mario levels up. He gains an extra 2 HP because I did that thing on him, so he would have gained 3 instead of 5 now, but... What I really want to increase is also his defense, because it's pretty weak. Luigi isn't going to level up now, unfortunately. We still have to wait, like, another turn or something. Uh, but that's okay. We can just go ahead and head our way up here. Uh, there we go. Ah, don't attack me, Dumbbell. No more battles for me today. I've had enough of you guys and your tauntingness. Okay, uh, there's actually something back there. Let's take a look. Try to explore every area thoroughly, just because I don't want to, like, skip over a place. Yeah, see, there's nothing here, but it's better to know that there was nothing there rather than asking yourself, what if I skipped over something important, you know? Okay, uh, which way are we headed? There's a pillow back there. Let's go ahead and save that little tiny munchkin baby pillow. Hey, an attack piece! 
We found attack piece number six. There are four more attack pieces hidden in this area that we'll probably find really soon. Okay, let's go ahead and save this pillow quickly. Inside of the dream world we go. You know, I don't even remember what this pillow is. It was probably a joke pillow because, I mean, I remember the really hard ones, like the difficult ones. But if I can't remember it, then it was probably easy. So, my guess is this one was a really easy pillow to save. Maybe. I could be wrong, though. Maybe I never even saved this pillow. Oh, there's a little entranceway. Like I said, they put, like, entrance waves for some reason in here. Okay, this is a joke. This pillow is a joke. I remember this, because I actually... Okay, so see how there's a warp pipe? They kind of cover it with the fog. Now, what I did, I did the stupid mistake of actually going down to the bottom, because at the bottom, at the very end, before the attack piece, or the nightmare chunk, there's going to be a warp pipe. And then you might ask yourself, what's in that warp pipe? Why would they put a warp pipe there, you know? So, me being the idiot, I went and checked the warp pipe, and the warp pipe took me back to the top, so I had to pretty much go through and do it again. But I think the only reason they put it there is because if you skip over the 100 coin and you want to go back and get it, you have another chance. Because once you, you fall down, you're pretty much stuck. That's the only thing I can think of for why they would, they'd put an extra, like, the pipe there, I guess. Because, I mean, once you save the, uh, the pillow, you can't actually go back inside of that Dream World pillow because he's no longer asleep. He's no longer in the dream world, so uh, just know every single time you enter the dream world, that's your only chance inside of that world. So do what you gotta do and uh, bounce. Yeah, time to wake up, huh? I don't know wh who you two are, but thanks. Dang, these guys are uh, are rude and stuff. All right, here we go. Are you ready for this, guys? That launched us to the top of the mountain. That just now was crazy! That is true, such crazy! Uh, Cutlass is finally here, you see that fountain? Yeah, I see that fountain, what about it? I wanna drink from it, what, do you guys drink from it? It's amazing! That is real, you try drinking! But, drink us, your own risk is crazy what happens, huh? Uh huh? Okay, these guys are scaring me. Uh oh, don't do it. Alright guys! We're gonna end off the episode here, and the next episode we're gonna drink from this crazy fountain and see what happens. And hopefully we'll catch up to the Moss of Pros. As you can see now, we're finally at the top of the mountain where it's snowing. I was a little confused at the beginning why there wasn't any snow on this mountain, but now it makes sense because we're at the freaking tippity top of the mountain. Cause look at that, look at, look at the bottom screen. Look at how much we went through from there. All the way there, through there, through there, and bam, we're finally here. So, remember once again, guys, to leave your suggestions on what you'd like me to see Let's Play tomorrow. Mario Golf or Kirby's uh, Triple Deluxe. Whichever one gets the most votes at the end of the night will actually be the one that I will be Let's Playing here on my main channel. And then the second one will be posted on Chris and Sully with my good friend Chris. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Goodbye.